I'm gonna start our jerk marinade with uh, four cloves of garlic there and four stalks of our green onion. Uh, let me talk to you a little bit about jerk chicken. A lot of times you can go to your grocery store and you can buy the marinade in a bottle and um, you can use it for your chicken at home. But let me tell you, when you make one of your own rubs and your marinades at home, it just really tastes a lot better. A lot of filler and preservatives in the stuff that you buy at the grocery store too. So the thing about jerk, and I say this is jerk chicken, is everyone's got their own recipe. Everyone's got their own spice combination. Everyone's got their own way of doing it. But the general thing with jerk chicken is it's sweet it's spicy, it's a little tangy, a little bit of salt. It's hitting your tongue in all levels. All right, now speaking of hitting your tongue, you do not want to hit your tongue with this <laughs> by itself. That's why we're putting it in the marinade. It's a habanero or scotch bonnet pepper, one of the hottest peppers ever. You touch it with your hand, and for the rest of the day, I don't care how many times you wash your hand, do not touch your face. I took a shower one time after uh, cutting one of those open, and. Uh, Got a habanero facial. All right, so into our jerk chicken marinade, we're gonna do some soy sauce, some brown sugar, some apple cider vinegar, and some honey. It's gonna really round out the flavors. Remember I said sweet, spicy, tangy. These are all gonna really help out with that. Okay, so we'll start with some soy sauce. Of course, that's gonna give you the nice, deep salt flavor, and a lot. We're gonna make a lot of marinade because half of this is gonna marinate, and then the other half, right on top of the chicken. We're gonna glaze it. It's gonna be nice and crispy and brown in the oven. Really good flavors. All right, then, of course, the honey for the sweetness. Really had a good time in Jamaica. You know, uh, the tourist side was cool, you know, waking up and heading to the bar to get your all-inclusive drinks on. <laughs> But uh, doing the insider trip was really a lot of fun. All right, so some honey in there and brown sugar. The reason I love brown sugar in my jerk marinade is it gives this really deep, deep molasses flavor. It's a deep sugar. It's more deep than just your regular sugar like the white sugar. I'm gonna put that in there too. This is all about packing the flavor in because it's gonna marinate for about four hours. All right, so I came back from Jamaica and of course, you know, I live in New York, so it was all about trying to find a place to find some of those flavors. And uh, I always go to a spot on 23rd in the city called Negril. I mean, there's a city in Jamaica called Negril. Makes sense, right? All right, so some apple cider vinegar. Every time I go in there, I seem to run into a celebrity. Who knew, right? A lot of music uh, singers and artists and stuff like that in there. And I always see some Jamaican performers, so I feel like if I go to a Jamaican restaurant in the States, and I see some Jamaicans there, you must be doing something right. All right, so here we go with our spices. So this is some cayenne pepper, and I'm really into heat, hitting you on different levels of the tongue. And some uh, fennel seed here. This is very licorice-y. It's a sweet, but an intense licorice taste. And a little bit of brown ginger. It's gonna add a little zip, a little kick. And then we're gonna put in a little thyme as well. I really love the way thyme tastes. And so this is ground allspice. Allspice all over Jamaican food, why? comes from Jamaica. A little bit more sugar. Now remember I said we've got the sweet going on, we've got some heat going on. Now we need a little bit of tangy. All right, so the juice of four limes goes in here. And we're gonna do the juice of an orange. Go ahead and get the store bought if you have it, but fresh always tastes better to me, all right? Go hang out at your local fruit stand and talk to the guy. <laughs> I talk to my fruit stand guy. And every once in a while, I'll get some free fruit. <laughs> Smile goes a long way. All right, so that's all in there. Remember, we've got it started with the garlic, the green onions, soy sauce, brown sugar. It's gonna be really good. Your cayenne pepper. And I've almost forgotten I touched the habanero peppers, but <laughs> I don't think I will tonight when I take a shower. All right, so that's all ready to go. I'm gonna get the chicken that we're gonna marinate with that jerk seasoning. And we're gonna save some of that jerk seasoning to the side, because remember, we're gonna reduce it down and I'm gonna glaze it over the top of the chicken about halfway through the cooking process. It's gonna look, oh, so good. All right, so let me get my marinade bowl. This is my trick right here. Anytime you're gonna marinate in the fridge, of course, plastic bag means less marinade, less waste. And you can go ahead and put it in a plastic bowl, because what if you have a hole in your plastic bag? You wanna drip all that stuff all over your fridge, you know? So I got all these chicken wings in here. Get them in. Oh, these look good. They don't know what's about to happen to them. <laughs> 
they're about to take a trip to the islands. <laughs> All right, so this is like seven pounds of chicken, just in case you're wondering how many wings I'm doing. Seven pounds. All right, this will do like a family of four or two really hungry people with some beers or cucumber juice that's on the way. All right, so there we go. I'm going to put this in here. And remember, I'm going to save to the side mm, about a cup. I feel good about that. So I'm going to put that in my little thing here, my saucepan. I'm going to reduce that down later. In the meantime, I'm going to get this chicken all surrounded by the flavor so when it marinates, it is ready to go in the oven and bake up. That is a little bit of the marinade from our chicken that's in the fridge. It's been marinating for about four hours. That's our jerk marinade. A little bit of it's going to reduce and glaze down on the stove. So halfway through, we're going to bring it out of the oven and throw it on top of our chicken that's already baking. And it's going to make a nice, crispy, sweet coating. It's going to be really good. All right, so we're just going to get these on wax paper. Put them on skin side down. Now, you might say to yourself, huh? OK, two reasons. Because halfway through, we're going to flip them over, and we're going to throw the glaze on top. It's going to create a nice crust. But when you start skin down, what happens is a lot of the marinade will start to travel down towards the bottom, which is where the skin is. You'll get a nice caramelization going on on the skin before you flip it over. So it's kind of working for you. All right, everyone's hanging out. Wash my hands. Get these in the oven. It's time to glaze the chicken. I'm going to bring it out, flip it over, and turn it up to 400 degrees for 20 more minutes. So we can get that nice golden brown and sticky top. I'm gonna get my glaze on. These chicken wings look really good. Now remember, we marinated these, put them in the oven at 350, then jacked it up to 400 degrees for the last 20 minutes so we could go ahead and get our glaze on. They're gonna be really good. Nice, sweet, spicy. Let's see what this tastes like, even though I already know. Mmm, not the hair. Only the chicken. Oh, yeah.